series finale between the seventh ranked Florida State Seminoles looking to complete the series. Hot and cold throughout this whole year, that consistency piece play. Swings on that one, flies out to left field. It's the mentality that sets her apart on this staff. This is a true staff. You know, on the mentality piece too, it goes back to also the eye timing here for Georgia Tech. And the walk to Mallory Black, so the Yellow Jacket. And just the, the clutchness of Grace Connolly. She can trust her. We collect information the first time around. Acted on well from Connolly over the head of Kaylee Mudd. Second and third and just one out for the Yellow Jackets. A stranger to adversity. It would be so easy, Tiffany, to come into game three with Allen, the junior, out of Jackson County. And the second walk of the inning in this low outfield, and then around the horn, it's Leonard Flaherty, Muffley. Morales talked extensively about was the work ethic out of this athlete. Very, very good eye from Dobbins. Inside, out over to Mac Leonard. She gets the force out. Willis choice, knowing in the infield that if the ball hits the glove, you've got to go home to Edenfield. Steps in. Still a great opportunity. First pitch swinging deep in the hole. Jersey Muffley backhands, throws over to first. And Matter of fact, arm. She approaches this just with a, a easy. First against a ranked opponent, but four straight balls to Kaylee Mudge to walk the lead on Grand Slam. Knocked in six runs, but when you look up and down, Kaylee in the open and just the variety of ways that Florida State can beat you. Off the arm of the pitcher, Nelliman. They're about preparing for FSU, specifically with Nelliman in the circle that need to use the changeup for their offense. This one's a scorcher over to third base. The line out to third. Really caught in fire at this chapter two point of the season here in college. And got her. Goes down swinging and they try to get the snap throw. This season. And gets that RBI single. Up the middle, one run in, another. Self, just a clutch athlete. So solid from the left side of Mableton, Georgia. Reaching out for that one. Slow roller over to second base and barely gets to be reckoned with. And another walk third given up today by it's tough to show three different looks Saleo right back to royalty looks the runner to second base and then Dupree but now she's 60 feet closer to home whatever is necessary five RBI on the season can she bring mile an hour difference when Edgman flies it out to center field and that gets Georgia Tech on the great point now and in the left field flies out and ends the inning but Georgia Tech's game they're on the board down 2-1 first inning off of a Mac Leonard single hit by the pitch in the way caser trots down to first. Okay, she has always had a bat in her hand. She does not run from challenge. I'm sure the audience is also equal. Oh. One in the right center, it's bye-bye. Oh. Atta girl, Katie Beck. Maybe she can answer that question for us because <laughs> we're the heart of, this is just a straight miss by Nell. How about that? This is what it's all about. On the weekend, and that one left. I really enjoyed talking to Coach Morales this fall. She's been through it. That went out to left field, and the first out recorded. She's been part of that. With this type of edge, because I was off building this momentum, Keely Mudge with her second walk of the ball game. The ACC softball as a make a wrong right. 
which way swinging of that one is ever flared. I draw a question mark behind, and I, I wrote this down, is that... Graduate <laughs> an All-American and an anchor over in the infield in Sydney Sherrill, a decorated player with a brilliant career as this ball gets away and taking from second all to score another run after the heads-up base running by... They make things happen. They put pressure on defense. Hardy trots to first with the two out teams in the country. You talked about the solid off arm. It's pitch swinging, towering fly ball into shallow. There's as Emma Wilson now coming in to make her seventh appearance of the season. The junior. Catherine Sandercock really in the lead with 82. And going out to all the weather that's been this Mallory Black grounds it over to shortstop and pitches for strikes against Black. Very confident young woman. As a woman, as an athlete here at Florida State, you can see a little bit of womanhood, her leadership. Rounder over to third for Emma Wilson. Five, six, seven, do up for the no. Cool. To helping her, you know, pay for college. Just to manage. Right? It's a little bit like the Wild West out there right now. You're just building the plane while it's in the air, and you know that it's an opportunity. Point, Aaron, relative to, you know, NIL as opposed to... Giving chase in left field from that fly ball foul. Found. Another walk given up by Nelliman. So Nelliman's change up. I think you're in for a treat because Boyles has the defensive teams in the country coming in to today. And with this group of women. Once again, but just underneath it. And woo! You see that one fall into the glove as she was fighting the sun. Josie Muffley. And there's the big strikeout from Sophia Boyles. First of seven on the weekend for the sophomore. Well, it's Tech, we've talked a lot about defense, Tiffany, and she said that typically is what... Against the for that right into the glove of Kaylee Mudge in left field. Early in the season, they were hit with the injury bug pretty early. The Trying to settle in here early. And the walk given up to Abby Hughes. Circle, Aaron. She's got it all. It, it, honestly, pitches aside. Oh. Head coach sees her All American. The first full count. And got her to go. Strikeout for Auburn. Jin Slayo now gets her turn. Sandra Cock readies the pitch. <laughs> and catches Saleo looking. The outside part of the plate, and that ends the cultivates an environment for that by Kaylee Mudge and say goodbye to that bat. And was waiting to take the bat off the shoulder, and she did. Flexing the muscle, pulling it deep and outside the park. Another home. You know, just the makeup of this Florida State team. Each group is going to have. Pulled on again into right, and Devin Flaherty is aboard. More practice time. I want another day of rest for our young women. I want the aspects of what it means to be a student athlete. The field gets well underneath that one, and that's the first one. This is a hitter's count. This is a big opportunity for her. The end of that. And that one goes into the glove of but now being used a little bit more frequently. As Mac Leonard tattoos that one out of the park. Keep the lower body engaged. In the afternoon for Mac Leonard, and that gives Florida State out now to eight to one. The day.
is extended after that walk to Amaya. He's the ball really well, just throws a bit harder, but just such a but now starting to see it at the plate. And Chandler Dennis comes in, does what she needs to do when strikes up Elva. Second base and one down. Priority of that leadoff position is to start energy. Be an energy. Drops that one. In for a single. Coming in, charging to get that one. Want to end the inning. So a terrific job by Amaya. The defense for Florida State continuing to... I don't know how we <laughs> would categorize it, but I can tell you it's a whole lot of fun with the bar. Oh. To finish off her career with the Yellow Jackets as she strikes out. Struggling with hearing, actually had a cochlear implant put in surgically in December. Rounder over to short and the play made and Dennis. All the more respect for this young woman. She competes at this level as she strikes out. Conference in postseason, a lot of representation from all the power fives that be. Also ranked as well. They had to battle through some really bad weather. Blue Devils handed the Seminoles their loan loss of count. I love the poise that Sandercock brings just a lot of defending the plate, the one-two pitch. And the towering fly ball behind the plate of Kyla Preston. Defensive changes for Lonnie Alameda, cycling through. And the pitch. Over the third base and mishandled by Hartley. You see the 20 appearances on the season six and and k time as mckenna re in the inning for the for it. Coach Morales talking about preparing for Florida State. She said that as such. On the season, collection of half a dozen hits. Mishandled by the center fielder. And that's got a season sweep and series sweep of Georgia Tech by a 9-1 decision this season and continues their dominance over Georgia Tech. So that's a final from Tallahassee.